So today we are going to try and solve this problem. Um, we have quite a few chickens and uh, when you put uh, water uh, waterer out like that, there's only so much room around it. And yes, we could have multiple of them and spread them out. Um, we, we even did this guy, this big one, just to last longer. Um, so we had two of them going, but still doesn't work great. They still all kind of jumble around it, uh, especially if it's gone dry the night before or something. So uh, I'm going to install a system of uh, these little drinking nipples here. There's a little metal thing right there. And if they peck at that, some water will come out. So we are going to put in um, 10 feet, at least 10 feet, about 12 feet across here, another 5 feet over here. And that'll give about 15 feet of um, watering nipples for them to drink at and hopefully spread them all out. So just using my pipe cutter here, cutting up the pipe into small one foot sections and then attaching all the sections together to create, you know, about a one foot, a little bit more spacing uh, between each one of these nipples. We're going to drill a hole in that 55 gallon drum and we'll plumb it over to here and hopefully we'll be able to fill up that 55 gallon drum and it will gravity feed to all these waters and mean that we don't have to water chickens for probably two weeks at a time. So we'll see how this goes and check in on the progress. All right, just finished up. This is the longer run here with the nipples along it. Runs along this fence line here. T in the corner where the water comes in and then around this corner for a few more. So I did put little clean outs on the bottom so that if it builds up with algae or debris, I can open that out. Uh, up and blow it out and if we step outside um, this is the rain barrel I will eventually connect the gutter uh, down to the top with a filter but for now I just filled it with the hose and then we have the uh, garden hose coming over and in so that's it pretty quick simple it took about an hour to build and the chickens are already using it Chickens are pretty curious uh, creatures, so they're already investigating, and um, they should be a little bit used to the, the water nipples by now. Um, but you'll notice that stuff that's on uh, chicken equipment is always red. So the little nipples that are that we just put in are red. Um, the bottom of this water over here is red. Uh, chickens are attracted to the color red, and so manufacturers use that to the to their advantage. Um, it's also a disadvantage should a chicken become injured, blood is red. And that is a uh, part of the problem that you have these uh, pecking issues where if a chicken gets pecked pretty good and starts to bleed, uh, it just exacerbates the problem because they attack it and keep going after that red. So anyway, just a side note uh, about the system, but everything is working great. And we should, uh, it's all about creating less work for us. So with this watering system, uh, we won't have to come out here and fill up the water every day. Quick update on the chicken water system. Um, I didn't design it to be run in winter yet. I was gonna get onto that uh, this summer. However, it dropped into the mid 20s for three nights and uh, the it froze and popped off the fittings on, the, on both ends. Um, so I noticed that the chickens were going crazy when I drove by and then noticed that they didn't have water. So that's why they're all feverishly attacking the, uh, the watering system right now. They've been uh, most of the day today without water. And I just repaired it and filled it back up so they're all drinking away. But I guess that also gives an opportunity on the video to see them using the uh, water. So fighting over it. Basically they just uh, peck away at that little silver thing in there and that releases the water. Just a little bit of a indent at the bottom of the red uh, nipple there that kind of holds a little drop of water and that's it. They just drink it up. So what's going to happen to prevent this in the future, just so this can work for the, through the winter, uh, right down here I'm going to take that fitting off, uh, this threaded fitting I put on there purposely. I'm going to take that off and there's going to be a return line that flows back this way. Same thing over there, return line that flows back this way. And there'll be a small circulating pump at the barrel. I put a heater inside the barrel and that little circulating pump is then going to pump the heated water through the lines, down return, and back to the tank again over and over again all through the winter. And that should keep the system operational. Um, there's some, some small 12-volt pumps that, that would work great for this application. So we will see when winter rolls around, but um, 
hopefully we don't have any more cold snaps that cause this to uh, to fail. But they're happily drinking now. Thank <laughs> you.